हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर सीन द वेरियस ऑपरेटिंग रीजन्स ऑफ द पी एन जंक्शन डायोड दैट मीन्स द पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इन झीरो बायस मोड द पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इन फॉरवर्ड बायस मोड एंड द पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इन द रिवर्स बायस मोड द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट now let's summarize our previous lecture in that video lecture we seen that the previous uh, pn junction diode in forward bias mode in forward bias mode that means when the p type material is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and n type material is connected to the negative terminal of the battery then the diode is said in the forward bias mode or when the anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery then the diode is in forward bias mode okay what happens in this forward bias mode let's see we know that n type region contains the majority of electrons and the electrons have the negative charge on it these negative electrons are repelled by the negative terminal of the battery towards the junction similarly holes are repelled by the positive terminal of the battery towards the junction this causes the reduction in the width of the depletion layer and hence a current flows through the diode above the value of the barrier potential the diode starts conducting okay now let's see the pn junction diode in reverse bias mode in reverse bias mode means when the p type term material is connected with the negative terminal of the battery and n type material is connected to the positive terminal of the battery then the diode is said in the reverse bias mode that means when the anode is connected to, connected to the negative terminal and cathode is connected to the positive terminal then the diode is in reverse biased mode what happens in this mode let's see we know that the n type material has the electrons as the majority charge carriers electrons have the negative charge on it hence these negative electrons are attracted by the positive terminal of the battery hence they goes away from the junction similarly the holes have the positive charge and these holes are attracted by the negative term terminal of the battery hence these holes are also goes away from the junction this causes the increase in the width of the depletion layer hence there is no recombination of electron and hole takes place hence there is no current flows in the reverse bias mode that means in forward bias mode there only current flows in one direction but in reverse direction there is no current flows hence the pn junction diode is also used as the application for the switch here is the vi characteristics of the pn junction diode is shown this part shows the forward characteristics and this part shows the reverse characteristics the voltage at which the diode starts conducting is known as kni voltage its value for silicon diode is 0.7 volt and for germanium it is 0.3 volt the reverse voltage at which the diode, uh, junction breaks down it is called as the breakdown voltage but here one point is noticeable that when the breakdown occurs then the diode gets permanently damaged okay we cannot use this diode after after the breakdown let's see our today's topic the zener diode the zener diode is a specially designed pn junction diode a heavily doped pn junction diode which is designed to operate in the reverse direction or in the breakdown region is known as zener diode it is also called a voltage regulator diode or breakdown diode that means a zener diode is a specially designed diode which is used for operate in the reverse bias mode or in the reverse direction only this is the actual zener diode shown here here the ring side denotes the cathode of the diode and the other side is anode this is the symbol of the zener diode let's see 
the zener diode in forward bias mode when the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the p region that means to anode and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the n region that means to cathode then the diode is in forward bias mode that means when the positive terminal is connected to the anode and negative terminal is connected to the cathode then the diode is said in the forward bias mode the in forward bias mode the zener diode works as the normal pn junction diode when the forward voltage is above the cut in voltage then the diode starts conducting the zener diode acts as closed switch in forward bias mode the vi characteristics of the zener diode is also similar as like the pn junction diode that means in forward bias mode the zener diode acts as the normal pn junction diode but the reverse characteristics or the reverse mode of the zener diode is slightly different than the normal pn junction diode the connections are the same that means when the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the n region or cathode and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p region or anode then the diode is in reverse bias mode that means positive terminal is connected to anode and negative terminal is connected to the sorry the negative terminal is connected to anode and positive terminal is connected to cathode then the diode is said in the reverse bias mode what happens in this mode let's see due to highly doped pn junction the width of the depletion layer is reduced we know that the zener diode is a specially designed diode and in this type of diode a heavily doped p type material and n type material are used due to this heavily doped materials the width of the depletion layer is reduced if the width of the depletion layer is reduced then a strong electric field is developed across this depletion layer let's see the operation of zener diode in reverse bias mode when pn junction diode is reverse biased the depletion layer becomes wider if the reverse biased voltage across the diode is increased continuously the depletion layer becomes more and more wider at the same time there will be constant reverse saturation current due to minority carriers after certain reverse voltage across the junction the junction breakdown occurs there are two types of breakdowns in the zener diode such as avalanche breakdown and the zener breakdown let's see once again there are two types of reverse breakdown regions in a zener diode first one is avalanche breakdown and second one is zener breakdown let's see each one by one because this is the very important point in the zener diode in exam the question may arise that what is mean by avalanche breakdown and the zener breakdown or what is the basic difference between avalanche breakdown and the zener breakdown let's see first the avalanche breakdown the avalanche breakdown occurs in both normal diodes that means the pn junction diode and zener diodes at high reverse voltage that means when we apply a high reverse voltage to a pn junction diode then in this case the avalanche breakdown occurs when high reverse voltage is applied to the pn junction diode the minority carriers gains a large amount of energy and accelerated to the greater velocities that means when we apply a large reverse voltage across the diode the minority charge carriers present in both regions are get accelerated and this acceleration further makes the free electrons let's see the phenomenon the free electrons moving at high speed will collide with the atoms and knock off more electrons these electrons are again accelerated and collide with the other atoms because of this continuous collision with the atoms a large number of free electrons and holes are generated as a result electric current in the diode increases rapidly the sudden increase in the electric current may permanently destroys the normal diode that means when we apply a large reverse voltage across the diode then the minority charge carriers in the both regions that means in n side the holes are the minority charge carriers and in p side the electrons are the minority charge carriers these minority charge carriers 
are gets accelerated at higher frequencies due to this acceleration they impact with the stable atoms and knock off the more electrons and holes these now these knock off holes and electrons makes further collision and breaks other covalent bond to free the electrons and the holes in this process a large electrons and holes are present or flows in the circuit due to this a large current flows through the circuit this large current breaks the junction but in normal pn junction diode when this type of breakdown occurs then the diode gets permanently damaged however the avalanche diodes may not be destroyed because they are carefully designed to operate in avalanche breakdown region avalanche breakdown occurs in zener diodes with zener voltage greater than 6 volt now let's see the second type of breakdown the zener breakdown in the zener breakdown the zener breakdown occurs in the heavily doped pn junction diodes because of their narrow depletion region when reverse biased voltage applied to the diode is increased the narrow depletion region generates a strong electric field that means this type of breakdown that is the zener breakdown occurs in the diode which has heavily doped p and n regions due to the heavily doped p and n regions the depletion layer width is very small and in this small depletion layer width a strong electric field is generated the electric field in the depletion layer is strong enough to pull the electrons from their valence band these electrons will break their bonds with the parent atoms the valence electron which breaks bonding with the parent atom will become free electrons these free electrons carry electric current from one place to the another place at zener breakdown region a small increase in reverse voltage will rapidly increase the electric current that means when a large uh, sorry a heavily doped pn junction are used a small depletion layer is formed across this small depletion layer a strong electric field is generated and due to this strong electric field a valence electron may break their covalent bonds and becomes free electrons this the number of free electrons is very large hence a large current flows through the diode and the breakdown occurs prefer uh, in zener diode it is preferred that the zener breakdown because the, we can adjust the zener breakdown val value or the breakdown voltage value very sharp but in avalanche breakdown it is not possible to break down at a sharp value here is a small difference between avalanche breakdown and zener breakdown is shown the first difference is zener breakdown occurs at low reverse voltage where avalanche breakdown occurs at high reverse voltage the zener breakdown occurs in zener diode because they are they have very thin depletion region breakdown region is the normal operating region for zener diode zener breakdown occurs in the zener diode with the zener voltage less than 6 volt while the avalanche breakdown occurs higher than 6 volt now let's see the vi characteristics of the zener diode the vi characteristics of the zener diode in forward bias mode is similar to that of the normal pn junction diode but the vi characteristics of the zener diode in reverse bias mode is different than the normal pn junction diode this part shows the forward characteristics of the zener diode which is similar to that of the normal pn junction diode let's see the vi characteristics of the zener diode in reverse bias mode when a reverse voltage is applied to a zener voltage initially small reverse saturation current flows across the diode this current is due to thermally generated minority carriers as the reverse voltage is increased at a certain value of the reverse voltage the reverse current increases drastically and sharply this is an indication that breakdown has occurred we call this voltage as the breakdown voltage or zener voltage and it is denoted by vz that means in reverse bias mode 
what happens here here a small reverse current flows due to the thermally generated minority charge carriers and the breakdown occurs at the reverse voltage the voltage is known as the zener breakdown voltage or the reverse breakdown voltage okay after breakdown the current increases sharply and drastically here is the complete view of the vi characteristics of the zener diode is shown this part is for the forward characteristics and this part is for the reverse characteristics this part is similar to normal pn junction diode characteristics here is the new voltage is shown and we know that the forward voltage at which the diode starts conducting is known as the new voltage or the cut in voltage and the reverse breakdown voltage is shown that means in the reverse voltage at which the breakdown occurs is known as the reverse breakdown voltage after the breakdown occurs the diode has the constant value of the voltage okay hence we can adjust this voltage by the various doping concentration across the p and n material now let's see some advantages of the zener diode the first advantage of the zener diode which is not listed in the list that we can use the zener diode in reverse bias mode also okay the next one is the power dissipation capacity of zener diode is very high second one is the zener diode has high accuracy the size of zener diode is small and the cost of the zener diode is very low there are some applications of the zener diode the zener diode is used as a voltage regulator zener diodes are used in voltage stabilizers or shunt regulators zener diodes are used in switching operations zener diodes are used in clipping and clamping circuits zener diodes are used in various protection circuit i hope you all understand the basic things about the zener diode the operation of the zener diode in forward bias mode and the reverse bias mode the breakdown mechanism that is the avalanche breakdown and the zener breakdown in the zener diode and also the vi characteristics of the zener diode thank you